Hi guys, <coughs> my name is Tom C, and that's D Marks, and I'm gonna play a little bit of Darkest Dungeon. Um, so I want to show D Marks this. I was like, buy this effing game. It's on Steam sale. I'm concerned it's gonna be a little loud, but it probably won't. Hello, AJ Pen One. Nice to see you. I did not know who. Hey, you want steak sauce? You're new. I don't remember if you're the one who. It was. I think it was you who bought us Shower with Your Dad. Yeah, Shower with Your Dad Simulator was a steak sauce, I believe. All right, listen to this fucking narration. It's fucking awesome. The moor. No. It's just the narration that I want you to hear. And that got my engine going. <laughs> well, that was a mistake. Sturdy shovels. Is this some kind of horror game? So that was pretty cool. <laughs> I guess it worked out. Oh, wait. And Xano playing VR chat. As it does. Oh shit. Return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows. Whoops. Of the darkest dungeon. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Alright. Taki <laughs> day. So this is a roguelike, my man. Mm. Quests will fail or be abandoned. Heroes will die. Everyone will suck. Um, we're actually going to start a new game to get kind of a feel. Everyone will suck. Actually, we're not going to start a new game because new game sucks. Um, so I have a little bit of thing. I, I've only have twelve weeks. So you got your Hamlet, right? You got the Hamlet. So this is, it'll it'll all look the same when you start it anyway. So the idea here is you're trying to build up your Hamlet, the ooh, oh. so that you can get to a certain point. So you see, you have different dungeons here that you pick. This is the one that you're that they're talking about, right? The darkest dungeon. The darkest of dungeons. Now, if I even pretend I'm going to this shit, everyone freaks the fuck out because they're not going there. So we have a bunch of different dungeons that we're doing, basically to build up our hamlet. Okay. So that we can actually get strong enough to go there. So there's a few different things here. People are. I gotta say, already on board. <laughs> <laughs> no further explanation required. Okay. I don't know if you're being sarcastic. No, it looks cool. <laughs> I'm into it. And it was seven dollars. Okay, so. Oh, seven dollars, easy peasy. Yeah, it's it. Okay, it's unbelievably good. So okay, so people have health and they can live and die. Burrito place is super busy, dude. Mothman, believe in yourself. Get that burrito. Do your fucking job and get that burrito. Get that fucking burrito. You. So you have different people, right? So they have different classes. Ben Dover wants to know who your favorite hero is. Um, probably. Um, the Berserkers, the Hellion, sorry. Um, so here's how it works. Random people come on a stagecoach, and they want to join you, and they come every week. Um, and the reason they come every week is because you shouldn't really be holding on to people that much. Um, because they'll go fucking crazy. This little meter here is how crazy they are. Um, and they'll die. And you're not supposed to care that much about them. Because for the most part, who fucking cares? Did you buy any DLC or just the base game? No, I didn't have any money. But I probably will buy the DLC because DLC looks fucking sick. So you go back on quest, you do your shit, then you come back and they go to the tavern to kind of relieve some stress. Is that guy free? Is that guy blinking because he's about to go crazy? Um, he is. Yeah, he has a bad quirk. So here's here's how it works. If they go crazy in a dungeon, they have a moment called the uh, I forget what it's called, but basically they can get either a good trait or a bad trait because of it. So you see quirks. Sorry. So like 
quick draw is not one of them. Sometimes they just have quirks, but this one is a bad thing that he got in a dungeon. So, like, he became a fucking weirdo and can't go to a goddamn brothel because he's a fucking weirdo. Apparently, this is the scene is called Afflicted. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's basically it. So, um, you see, you can keep that, too. So, as your guys get better, you can keep certain traits or you can, you know, do other shit. And they, there's different ways to help them feel better. But for the most part, you're not going to worry too much about that. It's a little bit of grinding because you basically are trying to build up these areas. Yeah. As you see, you can upgrade them um, to the point where you can get stronger guys and get more guys and get people who are actually capable of not going fucking crazy after one goddamn dungeon. And more money. Money is key, too. Um, and this guy can make better weapons or some shit. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so that's all well and good. You see, you can fucking you can upgrade their shit, which I kind of am going to right now. I thought it said Torn Doofus. It did not. I must upgrade my Torn Doofus. So that's all well and good. Who cares about that? Time to fucking embark. Yeah, Mothman. Everyone's, everyone's cheering for you to get burritos. Burrito. Get a good one. Don't fuck up, though. Rufio. Sorry. Okay. So this is my team. You can fight. You can fly. And you can crow. <laughs> um, we're going to... They're all different classes. They all do different shit. Uh, I cannot take too many more like the last journey. Yeah, that's probably true. This I like the lepers. Those are cool. Lepers are very good, but they're not going to do what I need them to do here. Um, I really... People are not doing so great today. Actually, here's what, we're going to go back and hire somebody. Because we got some room, room on the roster. Oh, it's all dark and spooky. So I've never had a man-at-arms before. I don't know what they do. He's on guard. Like, but crush. he also has... A Bluto-mania, which means he's crazy about Bluto. He wants to be clean, I guess. Um, he retributes, and he does some other shit. Not super interested. Houndmaster, yes, you're hired. Houndmaster's a the... Oh. Bloodshed. Okay, you gotta understand. That guy narrates everything, and it rules. Um, but for real, though, Houndmasters are the best class in the game. And he's going right in the fucking back. Going right in the back. I wouldn't mind this guy in, at position two. Because the positions mean stuff, unfortunately. Um, you could probably live at position two. Alright, let's just fucking do Man it. Man-at-arms is good at support. Yeah, I haven't gotten all the shit down. So my ability to understand why I need support is low. Um, Cove is very hard. Uh, this one's hard. This one's the easy. This one's the easiest. This one's a little hard. So is the idea is you build up the meters until eventually you unlock the darkest dungeon. Well, no. So I can go to the darkest dungeon right now if I want to lose. You can just go. Um, I believe that the because you're basically repeating the dungeons and, and different difficulties of the dungeons and longer forms of them. Okay. Until I think this levels up until you get to like a true boss mm. and then you probably can't take it anymore. Um, let's do this one right here. Send me out again. That's what we're fucking doing. So you have to get provisions. Um, some things come with you naturally because... Oh, is this a fucking medium length? Oh, boy. I don't really want to do a medium length quest. <laughs> Let's do a short one. That's what I want to do. So you get certain provisions. Um, shovels are good. You absolutely need food. And you absolutely need torches. If you want to, be cheeky. You can take some other shit because there's going to be certain things in the dungeon that... Get some of those keys. Uh, I'll take one key. If you happen to have the right item, yeah, you'll be able to use the things in the. Dungeon. So it's kind of like, it, so it seems kind of like a cross almost between like a, an RPG and like kind kind of kind of like a point and click adventure where like if you have the right tool, very much so, it'll yeah. bypass some shit. And you'll kind of see what I'm talking about in a second, but it, it is very much like that. Yo, Scrab, welcome to the fucking party. It was my <laughs> fuck wield. I think I'm pronouncing it wrong, but either way, no, oh. I believe that would be pronounced wield. Okay. Oh, wrong button. First, whatever there. Do cool. some fun dances. Okay, so here's your map. So first we're going to go north. I'm just going to try to explore the whole thing. You don't have to necessarily because my goal is not to do that. Uh, I'm going to click on this shit. I sal salvage that fucking thing. This isn't good. Okay, do not do that. So if you do that, what it says, it summons the hardest boss in the game. Which I have done before, and it was a mistake. So if I didn't have a shovel there, all my dudes would get uh, would lose health and get uh, a mm. hit to sanity. 
Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, so it's turn based. Okay. Um, basically, see that's that's a sanity hit. This cannot continue. So you see the the little b uh, balls, like you yeah. got three and then two. So obviously those are positions, right? There's four and four. He can hit the first two with these. He can hit the last three with this. He can hit the first three all at the same time with this, or he could do whatever with that. So the big thing is trying to kind of maximize your turns so that you don't get everyone fucking killed all the time. Um, it's important to know like what skills do what. Like vomit will hurt sanity, which it just did. This guy's a big fucking problem, so I have to kill him. And this guy sucks dick too. So everyone's bad, and they all gotta go. But this guy's gonna get shot in the fucking face. Oh! <laughs> oh fuck! Ah. Um, this guy's about to get fucking hound rushed. Oops, he's bleeding. So that dude's fucking dead. Um, now these. So he bleeds out for two. Uh, oh, he he's bleeding out for two. I would really like to hit this guy in the back, so I shall. Okay, just kidding. Alright. We're gonna fucking iron swan this bitch. Decimated. Decimated. Spirits claim you! Now, when they say stuff, it's awesome because they're getting themselves less insane, which I really appreciate. Okay, I was hoping he would die there, but he did not. I made a mistake. So, marked can pe mean all sorts of shit. It's not like taunt in Hearthstone. No. Unfortunately. Um, I really wish I could help that guy right there, but I cannot. Um, so what we're gonna do is... We could Adrenaline Rush here, but this guy's dead in one hit. Back to the pit. To the pit. It's always fun to say. Everyone's saying cool shit all day. Oh, you're getting some flashing fucking daggers, dude. No, that... This shit hurts bad, and I'm doing okay. But it could be bad. Oh, he's getting shot in the fucking mouth. It never gets old to shoot people. This seems like it would be good. Although I do like to whistle. I right, just shoot him in the face. With a dog. <laughs> you get that right in the dog face. So you see these corpses get stuck here too? Yeah. Um, so like certain people, like if I were to kill this corpse, this guy would get moved one forward. And then certain moves would be able to hit. Okay, that so makes sense. So it's all about kind of using that space wisely, too. So it's a bit of strategy there, too. I'm gonna open this here chest. Oh, fuck. Curses. Uh, I don't really have anything for that, so we're gonna let him just take the damage. Because you will find that holding onto your resources is important. Yeah. Because you don't really get a lot. He's gonna take some damage here. And that guy's bleeding, too. Bleeding I can fix. Yeah, let's not be stupid. Probably some bandages. Oh, they both heal themselves. Never mind. Okay, so this one you have to do with... I want to say it's alcohol. Holy water? It's not a torch. Trust me, it's not a torch. <laughs> that seems that seems like it'd be smart. I don't want to waste this, though. Because um, usually you can f think about it and figure it out. But let's try holy water. Okay, great. So you use it and you waste it. That's the problem. Yeah. Anti-venom? That's probably wrong. Fuck. Oh, does this tell me that it does it? No, it, ca it can't be like... It tells you like that. Okay, great. Well, that was fucking stupid. It certainly it's, seems like that's what happened. It's like, hey, here's what to use. I'm like, huh? Uh, what? All right, so that's... We got to go up there. We already did go up there, so we're going to head back. So you see, we have a torch up here, too. So this torch has to be constantly lit... Um, if it goes all the way to the bottom, the enemies go fucking real strong, and you take more damage. I mean, sorry, and you take more sanity damage. Mm. So there's all these things you gotta kind of meter. And see, it only goes down per every, like, square that we're walking, because these squares all mean something. And you can scout them before, because right now they're all blanks, so we aren't scouting very well. But if we were scouting well, we could see, like, traps ahead, or see, like, these, like, torches or whatever. So there's all sorts of shit going on. And now we're back outside. But no, it's super okay. And we're gonna do the same shit we did before. Cause that's what we do best. This guy's a fuckhead. I can't wait until he's dead. I love how you guys got debuffed. Let's just gently open their veins. I will. Continue the onslaught. 
destroy them all. Oh no, I took 11 damage. Please Drums don't. of debilitation, and then just hitting. <laughs> you hit his drum, and then the guy. Um, let's play. Th what do we get here? We get a mark, and a no one here cares about marks. So, like, some parties will be like. Because, like, different team compositions do different things if you want. So, you can have teams that, like, benefit from marking. Because, like, the one class, like, anyone who's marked, they do double damage to, shit like that. Yeah. So, that's kind of the cool part there. Um, I hope you like being picked to the face. I give them no quarter. I will give them no Okay, that wasn't good. You really don't want to take sanity damage. Eat shit, corpse. D do corpses take extra damage? Because that would make <laughs> sense. <laughs> I sure hope so. I'd just like to shoot that guy right in the fucking face. Now a dog's gonna eat him. It sure does. Looks like you got some nice stuff there. Yeah, so these things are basically how you build stuff up. So you'll see, like, different classes of equipment, like, of, like, treasure later. Mm. And they go towards, like, building up your blacksmith or building up other things. Stashed heirlooms. So I'll take that. Air they're called heirlooms. So the other thing you'll notice, um, they're getting sad because of the light. If you have a person who, like, has certain quirks, it'll affect how this process goes. So, like, if they see something on the ground, like, kleptomaniacs will always look at it. Um, before you get a chance to decide if it's the right thing to do. Mm. Um, I just have discovered this trap, so let's fucking disarm that. Really helps out my sanity. That like, pack contains loot. Um, it has gold bars in it. I'm, and some shotgun. Oh, okay, no, I'm out of shovels, so this is going to suck. Yeah. We don't have a lot of that. Does anyone have any indefatigable purpose left? We honestly didn't have much of it. Oops, bitch, you've been surprised. Okay, so they're going to get absolutely fucked. Apparently the Jester is a really cool class. Jester is super cool. So the whole thing about Jester is... So some of the other... Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, did ya? Yeah, just the fact they say stuff adds so much to it. I love the people who say things. You know what? This reminds me a lot of a game I loved called... Uh, Monsters Den. It was a flash game that was like an RPG where you're like wandering around. And you can make your own party and everything. That game was a ton of fun. I could see it. It's like a really low, low, low budget version of this. <laughs> we kind of get the appeal here. Yeah. No, I, I'm into it. I, I said. Yeah. And they're different. The like, butcher's cut. They're different classes. Like each place has different monsters. What's and the timer up at the top? This is. Um, I want to say this is. Yeah, it's either the level of light or it's the turn we're in. Mm. Um, I'm not sure, actually. It might be, like, our advantage. I don't think it's that important. <laughs> I hope this guy's getting darted. Um, what was I going to say? I just love shooting these dudes. Oh, yeah, so the whole thing is some different classes will, be, will benefit from changing positions. Mm. Like, right now, this is a pretty basic team comp. But, like, the Jester's whole thing is, like, he has different moves for each position, and every move moves him positions, and they're all, like, song names and shit. So, like, if he's in the back, he can do a solo to get him to the front, and then he can do a finale to, d get, a, to like, get a hit here and then move all the way to the back. It's fucking awesome. It's, like, a little bit, a little bit clever and it's a little smart. This is, like, a super basic comp that I have right now. Rah! Yeah, it must have been turned. Take that free fucking torch. I'd say use more torch. Yeah, it's turn number. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So it's, a big thing is a lot of people will do like no light runs to get better loot. Oh, is that a thing? Yeah. I fucking really tried to disarm that. Oh god. Ouch. 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 I don't know. Maybe you want to heal that. Um, so she actually has something that heals bleed. Oh, boy. Yeah. Eat, bitch. She can heal bleed in fights. This is concerning. Uh, let's try. A, it doesn't. Nothing's giving me an idea. <laughs> let's try. Let's apply a bandage here. Okay. Maybe torch. Um, I think I don't have the thing I need. Nah, I probably would have said holy water there. Yeah. Yeah. 
Shock me like electric. Okay. Always have one of your dexterous guys uh, disarm traps. That makes sense. I didn't realize there was a different effect if different people did it. I know that sounds dumb. Well, I can't argue with that. <laughs> hey, weird corpse wagon. It's like meat it. wagon. It's huh. a four drop. <laughs> All right, so we're we're almost done with this. I'm just exploring this dungeon. <laughs> Merge. <laughs> Merge. All right. So we're slowly getting through it. The problem with this game is it gets super addicting. Oh you, yeah, no. You'll put dudes into like, oh boy. That's what happens with Slay the Spire. I was like, this game was so fucking good. <laughs> but like for this, like you'll put guys in like uh, like the places to like get better like sanity wise, and then you'll be training other guys. So you'll kind of go through a cycle of one to train other guys to do shit. Gross! That guy just threw up. That's why I was killing first because I don't like to be puked on. I think give you diseases, which are something that are permanent effects to them. This isn't good. This was a very bad start to my day. Oh, that's bad. So, or oh, cowardice. So the big thing is, sometimes it's better just to let people go. Hmm. Um, I would really like to bleed this guy. Or all of them, if that's what you're doing. What the fuck? That's great. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know it was like that, my man. Um, yeah, let's start this guy off. Uh, yeah. Start him off. Seemed, I was about to say, it seemed like overkill. <laughs> uh, I could iron swan you this. You look down under guys and master the trap symbol, it'll tell you their chance. Interesting. Destroyed. I didn't know that. Destroyed. Ouch! Stop munching me. <laughs> Quit your munching. Hey. Stop. Okay, stop. I know you're hurt very badly, but the good news is we don't have any medicine for you. <laughs> so just, if you'd like to poison this guy in revenge... Which you did. There's a way to tell how much damage he's taking a turn. Oh, yeah, you can do it. He's taking one damage. He's taking three damage a turn. He has five health left, so he still needs to take a hit. So we're going to grape shot these bitches. Boom! Take nice. that, corpse. See you, bitch. Flambo! All right. No. Okay, let, let's hold on for a second. Do we have one more room here? Yeah, it looks like. All right, let's just fucking, let's do it. This guy's going to die, and they're all going to get stressed out. But who cares about that? They might not die. He's not doing great. Shock me like electric food. So, you got a green blob. That might come in handy. That is amethyst. Or jade, sorry. It's gross. 50 bucks. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Okay. I would have liked to have surprised them here, but... Slammo! Love to see that blight. Oh, I wish it wasn't your turn, though. Oh, I wish it was not your turn. See, people take some pretty significant damage, too. Yeah. So that's the thing, is it's not... It Well, it's, it seems like a very lethal game. It is. Like this person's probably about to die. Although they do get a one turn for death's door. So he has zero health. But he's going to die right when this fucking round starts. So he's he's in trouble. Um, I, don't, I, I don't think he's going to make it. But who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, that's not lucky. Okay, let's do a little bit of this move. Well, let's just fucking bite this guy. Okay, I was hoping you would not resist that. Uh, we're gonna shoot this guy right in the fucking mouth. Barf. Okay, that that was great. This is a thousand gold. Uh, is this guy gonna die while we walk over here? It's my prediction. Okay. Let yeah, let's find that. Okay, there's nothing here. So, hundo percent. You have Moth survived. Mothman, how'd that burrito trip go? See, that person might survive. No, they definitely are surviving. See how there's different categories here? 
The shields are shields. The things are notes. Pictures are pictures. And this is like statues. Probably busts. Uh, Gotta like get some of that big bust. I like the way you say that. So there is a reason to keep using people. Um, because they get resolve. Which leads to um, them being less scared. But it's very hard to kind of get. Okay, so he got bad traits on this. He, he's not allowed to go with hookers. But, but he, he will kill he, some people. He loves killing unholy people. This guy, however, now he he experiences religious visions and delusions. That seems bad. But and he gets more damage than the Warrens. <laughs> so that means, like, sometimes if he saw that, like, one thing that summons that strong guy. Oh, yeah. He might just go do it. Guys, we're going to do it on the next funny episode of Sons yeah, of Video. Yeah, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Wait, medical breakthrough. Medical ward is free. Yeah, so there's new shit every like week that happens. Change it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, bye, guys. <laughs>